Turning now to campaign 2024, the state GOP held its convention for U.S. Senate. There were four candidates, and now there will be a primary. Chief political reporter Susan Raff is live at CCSU, where the convention just wrapped up. Susan. Aaron, Democrats had their state convention last week, and tonight it was all about the GOP. But unlike the Democrats, tonight there was a lot of drama. More than 1,000 Republican delegates packed a crowded auditorium to make their choice for U.S. Senate. Four candidates who want to take on Senator Chris Murphy in November. But when all the voting was done, Jerry Smith became the endorsed candidate. Hoping to get the fight started a whole lot sooner than later. Smith, however, wasn't happy. He doesn't want a primary. To uh, unseat Senator Murphy is a, is a big lift and a heavy lift. And if we, it, not being able to start that fight tomorrow um, is a big problem. The head of the state Republican Party thinks Matt Corey should drop out. I think that's a really good message for everybody. Uh, the Republican Party needs to be united. Unfortunately, there seems to be some uh, disagreement on that. Smith, the first selectman in Beacon Falls, threw his hat in the race back in February. The voters of the state of Connecticut, the Republican base, needs, needs to have a choice. And I, look, I was primaried in 2018. I galvanized the Republican base all around the state of Connecticut. I was the only U.S. Senate candidate in the history of the state of Connecticut to win all, 100, all 169 towns. John Flynn and Rob Kowicki will not be moving forward with their campaigns. Well, primary is very good for exposure, but you, you need the money to be able to exist. So as you heard here tonight, Matt Corey says he has no plans to withdraw, at least not right now, whether he will in the coming weeks, that remains to be seen. But there's no question that this can hurt the Republican Party. They need a unified message to go forward, to beat or take on, certainly, Senator Chris Murphy. And it will hurt Smith's ability to raise money. We are live tonight at Central Connecticut State University, Susan Raff, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.